Let's go. You can do it. Wow. Imagine if that came out your nose. Oh. Ouch. Oh, I know what it is and you don't. Come on, what is it? Searching for something and I'm like, what are you doing? Grapes in there. Mm. You turn around. What happened to the mango and chicken rice? <laughs> busier today <laughs> kind of not even only because they're stuck in a red light oh there they go so weird seeing one of the busiest streets in Bangkok empty good morning rise and shine Show you a little. Look at all those fans. Show you guys this side of the building. Again, gloomy. This is what we get to look at every day. <laughs> Time to work out. Four things. One, this is from Lululemon. <laughs> Somebody asked on Instagram. Two, I cover this because I find the screen is super bright. Three, the treadmill did not come with the room. We had to order it extra, paid extra. Um, and four, 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 four. I forget what the fourth one was. Oh, by the way, I finally found my head van. I was working out for the past five days without it because I didn't want to dig it up. <laughs> but I was like, I can't do it. Hair's too much in my face. Um, as you can see, he's waiting for his breakfast. Oh, and I'm also wearing, if you're wondering, I'm also wearing a heart rate monitor too, in case you're like, what's that you're wearing? Um, when I do cardio, certain days, when I just want to take it easy, I want to make sure my heart rate is right where it's at. And I track it on my phone. Today's menu, fruit, another fruit. This is from the hotel. Delivery at 7.30. Is it 7.30? Yeah, 7.30. Yeah, right and American breakfast. Both of them. Two orders of American style breakfast. Croissant and bread. Croissant and bread. Ooh. Croissant with butter and strawberry jam. <laughs> Yum. I moved the table so I can use my skipping loop. It's like, might as well. Why not? The thing is, I can work out anywhere. Anywhere as long as I have enough space for my whole body like and the thing is people think oh I need a gym blah 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 but it's kind of like did you know using your own body weight is super effective it's mind muscle connection
doing here? Anyways. <laughs> okay I close the blinds because the Sun is so today we got some hotel fruits hotel fruits um, these come with our meals each time we order them and I also have um... <laughs> I'm peeling it <laughs> Wow Like a watermelon. I learned. <laughs> mm. These are wax apple. And thank you, Yok. Not like my. She's yeah. like a really, really good friend of mine here in Bangkok. And she even brought me um, wooden plates and wooden spoons because I, for some reason, I didn't think I needed it. And look, the ones she picked out are so cute. Like, they're so cute. It's a nice set of chopsticks, like, too. Just like home. <laughs> okay, this is so good. It's so sweet. Mm. Mm. Aaron even likes these. Did you Wax want? apple. Mm -hmm. Did you want mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I'll have this fruit. Mm. They definitely don't taste like an apple, though. Mm-mm. I never know whether to eat this part or not. Someone will tell you. <laughs> I'm pretty, I bet yes. I'm pretty sure you can eat the whole thing. Yeah. But, I mean, yes, I washed them and everything, but... Other than the core. There's these, like, little thing inside that's like a, like a hole. I always think something's in there. Mmm. <laughs> She also brought us two big thing of um, um, pomelo or grapefruit. It's like this, but it's red. But I ate it last night. Yeah. We both ate it last night. They were good. Mm hmm Really good. Hmm. Mm, yeah. These are more grapefruity tasting, eh? That's all right. No. Yeah. Which was the one last night? Yeah. Which one do you like better? This one. Mm. Mm. I like hope. I like the taste of grapefruit, though. Mm. It's good. Not sour though, this one. Mm -mm. Orange. Orange. So I know the hotel gives you breakfast, but I usually just have fruits for breakfast. Because it's so close to lunchtime that I, if I eat breakfast, I won't have lunch like until it's like super late. And then I won't have dinner until like it's super late. Plus when you're really, when you're really like not active during the day, it's kind of like you're not really hungry. You know? Wax apple. Mm hmm. It's so juicy. It's crazy, like the fruits like that that you just never see in other countries. Never see. Yeah. Like these, these are so hard to find. I was telling her that, well, sometimes you can't even find them. I've never seen those in Canada. You can get them, but they're they're not this sweet. Oh no, for sure. I uh, like durian tastes different too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I cannot wait to have durian. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. I can't believe this hotel doesn't let you bring in durian. Really? Even the peeled ones. Really? The peeled ones, they, they all smell the same though. Mm-hmm. The peeled ones are like wrapped. But still. <laughs> when you open it? Yeah. I guess so. Mm. I think it's just a better a better safe than sorry kind of thing for mm. them, right? Mm -hmm. like, Cause it's so pack. it's so touristy, right? Yeah. Not everybody likes doing. No. 
That is for darn sure. I'm like really, that's why like when I first met Aaron and he told me he likes durian, I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I don't believe you. Eat it so I can believe you. <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, I was like, wow. It's one of those things that I don't even know how people don't like it. It's kind of like cilantro. You don't like cilantro. Yeah, it's one of those things. I have a genetic trait. Well, maybe durian is a that's genetic why. trait. <laughs> but it tastes like juicy fruit gum. Like, who doesn't like juicy fruit to gum? To you. Yeah. No. Like, I love cilantro. But I think it's the thing. I think a lot of people can't get over the smell of it. Mm. It's like you smell it, you're just like, oh, no, I don't want that. Yeah. It's like, well, it doesn't taste like the smell. Yeah. Strangely enough. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't want potpourri of durian. <laughs> like, you know. But orange. I get it, beautiful yeah. Beautiful smell. For sure. Yeah. Potpourri of durian. Yeah. Imagine. Could you imagine? Oh, it'd be gross. But then it's like, but then it's like, but... You might as well just leave old socks hanging <laughs> everywhere. No, it doesn't smell like socks. Okay, what is... It kind of does what you always say. To the people who doesn't like it, though. Yeah. It doesn't smell... It doesn't smell pleasurable to me, either. What? No. It smells good to me. It like, well, it smells like... It's, it's not like, oh, that's a beautiful rose in the garden. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, it's dirty. Yeah, that smells good. It's not like... Oh. Like, you know... That's that's what I see during as I'm oh, like. Oh, I don't. I don't go around sniffing the durians. For like sure. Like roses in the garden. I would. It smells mm. good. I don't think it smells that great. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Like, it's almost like. But I don't like jackfruit. It smells like. You're like, very sweet. I can't even explain the smell. Mm. What? That's probably her right now, actually. <laughs> hmm. Also, I wanted to say, I'm glad you guys like these casual mukbangs or just, you know, when we like chit chat and stuff like that. Because, I mean, really, <laughs> that's all we're doing here today. <laughs> today and every day. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Sit around and wait. Mm hmm. How many days left? What's like, our plan for today? Mm -hmm. Do your temperature check. Mm -hmm. Order your food. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, as soon as I think about that, I have that Jeopardy song in my head. <laughs> Timer countdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. The only time we get to go outside is to do our test. Our COVID test? Yeah. It's it's also crazy how like like the 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 safety precautions they have. It's kind of like say we leave the room. There's someone out here to take us to the elevator. They press the elevator for you. Just us go into the elevator. You go downstairs. Someone's waiting for you at the elevator downstairs, and then a different person takes you to the actual like lobby area where you do the COVID test, and then like each stage and the covid test is outside mm -hmm. outside yeah. um because yeah. you have to take your mask off uh-huh oh I, I have to tell you guys because you know we've been stuck inside right so we don't really have a clue of what the weather is out like like outside like how hot it is outside <laughs> when we went as soon as we like enter the courtyard of the common area to go outside to take the covid test it's like a a wave of hot air. I was like, wow, it's so hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, this is what it feels like to be outside. It's really hot. Really hot. Really hot. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I even asked the lady too if I could um, film the process of her taking my COVID test. She goes, no, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, that's okay. That's why I asked before I you know, bust out my camera and stuff. <laughs> Just to be polite, you know, like. Because not everything can be documented, unfortunately. No. 
even these melons are like really sweet. Usually I don't like these back home because they taste like, like water. Mm, cantaloupe. Mm. Mm. These are Thai cantaloupe. Surprising. <laughs> 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 no, but there's a different kind, like is the Western kind and the Thai kind. Or yeah, they just taste different. They taste different. Mm. I thought it was just because they're more tasty here because of the environment, like other fruits. Mm -hmm. Like Thai melon, to even mm. translate it in English. Mm. Thai melon. Mm. I'll show you when we go to the grocery store next. Okay. The the two different melons. <laughs> Kind of like the Japanese melon. Yeah, no? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> this is Thai cattle. <laughs> <laughs> well, duh, you're in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you meant, but like, I'm just saying, I like, know, there's I a Thai it. melon. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at all the motorbikes. I know, it looks like a gang. Every time they go from the traffic light, it's like, whoa, that's a big crew of motorbikes. <laughs> no, no, that's just people. No, because all of the motorbikes go, go in the front. front. Yeah. Know, yeah. Today's forecast, sunny with 100% humidity. <laughs> yeah. Very warm. Very warm. Even up over there, look at that, some of those units. Oh, yeah. Oh, look like someone's moving in right there. Look down there. There it goes. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> so exciting. You can feel the sun. Even through the window, when you like look, when you go over there, mm -hmm. it's not in the shadow. I know. I feel like I got a tan line from my sports bra, <laughs> from like working out in the morning, you guys. Inside. Inside. Yeah. Not really even being directly in the sun, like. It's crazy. But I'm gonna get my tan on. Tan on. Inside. Inside. Oh, oh, that's yours. Life. One has to save all the napkins. Yeah, because they don't, they don't give you, um, toilet, uh, not toilet, um, paper towel. Paper towels. No. Life. They don't. Yeah. They only give you toilet paper. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, very thin, too. Can't even pick my nose with it. <laughs> Yeah, it's it ain't it ain't Charmin, that's for sure. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I know. Oh, and you guys were asking about um, if the if the food was free, and yeah, it's like built into the price of the room when you book the ASQ yes. hotel from yeah. when you're away. Nothing yeah. is free. No. Just remember that nothing is free. No. Um, even the treadmill I had to rent. Yeah. So. And then they have to bring it in here and set yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. But, but this is one of the, well, the only one that came that was had an option of a treadmill that you mm -hmm, saw, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why I decided to stay here because I'm able to have the treadmill in the room. So that's why. Yeah, that was the deciding factor. It was. It was like a deal breaker. I was like, yep, done. done. I can have a treadmill for the whole entire time I'm there. Yes. <laughs> Let's stay at that yes, one. Yes, please. You know, yeah. And it's a nice hotel. Yeah, it sure is. Staff's really really nice too, and like if you if you run out of things like toilet paper, water, um, anything else that is included in the room, like you can always ask for more. And mm -hmm. we already asked like for four cases of water because I drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. and so does Aaron actually. So the between the two of us, we probably go through a, like a case of water like a day for the case, both of us. For yeah. the both of us, yeah. Um, so we just ask for it, and then they bring sure. it up. They leave it at the yeah. front, leave it at the door, and then when they leave, when they walk away, then you can open mm -hmm. the door and grab it, just like the food. Yeah, and and if you say you wanted to order something extra, like a pack of sugar, extra milk, mm -hmm. um, what else? They'll go, know, they'll go grocery shopping for yeah. you too if you don't have like a shaver or mm -hmm. toothpaste mm -hmm. or something like anything. Something like, that. like personal that you didn't bring or you forgot or you wanted. They have um, personal shopping. Yeah, because people um, can't leave. Exactly. Yeah. And literally the store is like right there. <laughs> yeah. Currency exchange? Yes. We, we got a currency exchange because one of the app that I order food from, sometimes they I can't use my credit card on there, so I have to use cash. Um, so that's pretty handy. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Surprising. Pretty handy. 
surprisingly do currency exchange that I was I didn't think well they would. I think I think well they know right like the currency exchange at the airport you can't is use it closed yeah. so you, well, you we didn't even go past no it. you couldn't it's closed anyway like oh. I looked oh you like looked nothing off. nothing was open at the airport no and so you know they know that we can't get currency exchange so mm-hmm. in case we wanted to buy something or even if we wanted to use cash for our orders like hotel orders we can do that too mm-hmm. but we just put it in the pri- in the room and just take care of it like when we check out that way it's easier yeah it's very good the ASQ hotels though mm-hmm. or at least this one yeah uh, I, I guess I guess a lot of people think the ASQ hotels are um, are free because you know we have to do a mandatory quarantine it's not free no <laughs> it's, not free. it's not free no. um, it's the price of the hotel the, for the whole 10 days that we're here it's literally like an all-inclusive um, pa- pri- price package if you went to say Mexico at a five-star mm-hmm. hotel um, and you have to pay ho- uh, hospital costs too for the yes, nurses extra. Yeah, extra for the, the COVID, COVID testing test. and ho- nurses and things like that. There was an extra charge on top of the hotel for that that we had to pay. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes along with it. Yeah. And it's not free because even though it's mandatory quarantine, it's like, well, they're not forcing you to come here. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, well, if you want to come, then... Yeah, and also, like, Thailand is open for tourists, hence why Aaron was able to come with me. Mm-hmm. A lot of you guys thought that it was just, like, for Thai people. Oh, yeah, no, in. and they're really pushing for open tourism. Yeah. I was reading today on that thai news website. Yeah. Like, they're really pushing for July for opening for all the islands, for, like, open tourism, for now, vaccinated I, people. Man, with... I, I don't know how that's going to work, because even just a few... Even just when we first landed, mm. right away the ma- the um, restrictions started to change. Mm-hmm. Um, even if you had vaccinated, mm-hmm. you're still required to quarantine for 14 days. Mm-hmm. So they kind of went backwards. So it's mm-hmm. kind of like I don't know. Oh, yeah. They said there's going to be they, they, well, they're even the I guess the tourism minister just said that the other day that no, they're still sticking with July 1st for open, no quarantine wow. for vaccinated people coming to. Uh, I think the first one was Phuket and, a few, and, and PP and other places like mm-hmm. other, other islands. And they have to stay in those islands for 10 days and then they're free to travel anywhere else outside of Thailand. But there's no quarantine. You just have to stay on the island. Oh, but you can't go other places. Yeah, but I don't know how they, I don't know how they would watch that. I don't you know. This is what I order, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, mine looks pretty sad. Here, so. <laughs> I, I mean, the thing is, these are spicy. These are too spicy for Aaron to even try. That's why. Yeah. Ugh. Like even that one the other day. Yeah, was really he was funny. like dying. Oh, look at that. That was mild. Mild. Wow. Ooh, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> so, okay. How about this? How about this? How about this? Put this here. Delicious. <laughs> Aaron's got pasta today. Mm. Nice and warm with some garlic bread. Mm. Um, I ordered some fish balls. Babe, do you want some fish balls? No. I'm good, thank you. They're pork balls. Oh, pork. Okay, maybe I'll have one then. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> That looks spicy. It's not. It's. I'm sure it's mostly sweet. Mm. Starving Marvin, babe. No. Nope. <laughs> I am because I didn't have breakfast. I only had fruit. But that's me every day, though. I just have fruits. I'm just not hungry in the morning, and then like three hours later, I'm like starving. Oh yeah. Wow. Aww. I feel like they didn't give me enough sauce. Get it all, get it all, get it all. <laughs> I know some of you guys are probably saying, oh, there's so much plastic. There is. There is a lot of there plastic. There is a lot of plastic. Um, well, is. they were just going through that whole thing last time we were here with the plastic bags. 
Mm-hmm. Remember? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. People making memes of going to 7-Eleven with wheelbarrows. <laughs> Spicy? Wow. That's a maybe. Let's You'll see. probably feel it. What's the verdict? That's a little spicy. Noodles, veggies. Oh, so veggies and noodles have, <clears throat> I think I'm going to take this out, um, bitter melon. Um, and it's bitter. <laughs> long uh, string bean, uh, cabbage, uh, cucumber. Noodles. I'm just gonna do this. Like so. Hmm. Pickled cabbage. Like so. <laughs> I got extra fish ball. Oh, I might save this for later actually. It's a little too much. So now, oh and I got an extra egg as well too. Now. This is the soup. This is the soup. Wow. That's a spicy looking soup. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this without spilling too much. Ready? <laughs> Wish me luck. You got it. There you go. Oh. Oh. Nice. I'm scared for a second. There you go. I don't know if. Can you see it? So excited. Look at that. Got chicken feet, liver, um, blood, pork's blood, and fish, I think, in here. I'm so hungry. Wow, it looks so fresh. Yeah. Bean sprout, too, in here. Yeah, that's good. Okay. A little bit of everything in one bite. Here we go. Dill. I don't know how to eat it with this yet. Okay, here we go. A little <laughs> bit of everything, all in one bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's okay. It's very good pasta. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is spicy. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Even for you? Mm-hmm. Wow. Break out the towel. Sweating already. But it's like a good spice. Mm. Okay. Lots of veggies too. Mm-hmm. Fish ball, beef ball, <laughs> pork ball. <laughs> Is that one pork too? I think so. Mm. It's crazy how they give you everything to you in these like paper trays too, so they can just dispose Ooh. of it. it. Doesn't come on plates, doesn't come anything, just a plastic bag, mm -hmm. paper trays, everything goes right in the garbage. Biohazard. That is bitter. Yeah. What <laughs> kind of melon is that? Bitter melon. Mm. <laughs> no, thank you. Cucumber. Mm. Mm.
Yeah, get some blood on there too. Come on. Wow. This is to make up for the other one. Oh, no way. Okay, let's see. Let, that's a big... To fit that, you gotta open your mouth big. It's just my mouth is so... Burning? Spicy right now that mm. if I put anything... Because the soup is still a little warm, right? So. Oh, the warmth and the spice. Mm. Cool down with some balls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. Let's go. Wow. Mm. Color me impressed. Wow, that's a good bite. That is a good bite. A little bit of everything? Mm. Mm. Hmm. Big bites are the best, I feel. Oh, for sure. You get everything. Because, yeah, you get everything in one bite. Mm hmm. I think this one's a little too big. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'd really like you to try haggis. Yeah, Scottish blood kind of food. Honestly, I try anything once. Oh, me too. Well, almost anything. But chicken feet. They didn't debone this one though. Oh. Because <laughs> that's the hard part. It's not. Oh. Mmm. But a lot of little bones in there. Mm. Yeah. It's so tender. Mm. Just falls right out. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's that, babe? What do I have in here that I can keep eating? <laughs> Leftover grams pancake. Yeah. Some and this delicious juice. Delicious juice. That I don't know the name of. Um. Yeah, I don't Put know. you on the spot. I don't know what, it, what it's called in English, though. It is like one of the best juices I've ever had. Um, it kind of it tastes it's like, like a purple flower. It's kind of it sour. Almost tastes like grape. Doka chip. Exactly. That. Doka chip. What doka chip? Doka chip. I don't know. It's ah. good. It's a good juice, and luckily. And they gave me two. Wow, you guys, I am dying of heat. You have to point it out to me when we go to the. You know what? I'm gonna look it up for you right now. Oh, good for you. Docker Tia. Docker Tia. Docker Tia. Oh. Docker Tia. And for dessert, Is graham pancake. Actually, no. It's not. I'm wrong. Hmm. Man, I know it. I know it. But it's, this is what I thought it was. This. I guess I could ask the hotel. The menu. Oh. Is it this one that would be in the bag too? Oh. No, it would be in, the, in that one. This one? No, this one. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So these are all like the extra things that you can um, order, like drinks, and then like afternoon snack stuff. Let's see how long it takes them to reply. <laughs>
Okay. Sent a picture too. Hmm? Sent a picture too. I told them even if it, even if they reply and tie, it's fine. Mm. So good. The pickled cabbage in here is so. Just does it. Yeah. Mm. It's a good juice, though. Mm. It's just such a distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. It's like a super grape. That's what mm -hmm. it reminds me of. It's like sweet and sour. Kind of tangy. Tangy, mm. yeah. I wouldn't say sour. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Oh, man. Two's not enough. Two's not enough. This dish, though, is like hitting the spot. This is probably like one of my favorite dish, too. It's just uh, pre like pretty close to papaya salad that I can eat this pretty much almost every day. You know that spice level? This is a little spicy mm. for me, like a little too spicy. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, I'm sure if I stay here long enough, this would be like perfect. The fact that I can still eat it. Gives you a goal. Something to look forward to. <laughs> Watch them text me back and be like, great. <laughs> you make me choke. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's already spicy. <laughs> If I choke on the broth, I'm done. Mm. Oh, imagine if that came out your nose. Oh, Ouch. No. <sighs> no way. I haven't had that happen in years, thank goodness. I don't even... I've never even had milk come out of my nose. Really? Yeah. Mm, I have. Really? Yeah. Was the, joke, was the joke really funny? I, I'm guessing <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> Woo. Mm. They're probably like, we've never had these questions before. <laughs> what a strange room. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, I know what it is, and you don't. Come on, what is it? This is. Rosella juice. Rosella juice? <laughs> Still doesn't know what it is. What? Yeah, that's what they said. Rosella. Rosella. I'm going to Google it. That. <laughs> Rosella. Translate. There you go. Rosella juice. Now you know what it is in English, too. That's a good juice. If anybody ever sees it somewhere. In case you don't know what it looks like. It looks like that. Let's see. Oh, wow. What you got? 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 Two big bags of Cafe Amazon. Oh. They're all the same because it's precious. Thai iced tea from Cafe Amazon. I guess. And look, they come in this big this bag and they even have like a cup holder and everything too. So And napkins. And napkins, see? Still early for Thai iced tea. Especially four of them. Mmm. <laughs> Either drink it from here, but I like using a straw. I oh, need too. I know a lot of you guys want to know the cost of food of certain dishes and things like that. This is 45 baht, so which is a dollar 45. Dollar, dollar forty-five. Canadian. Canadian. Every, yeah, but most people convert to U.S. That's why oh, I say okay. it to you know. Um, so let me just look up first. So it was forty-five baht. Mm -hmm. Forty-five. So that's a dollar seventy-eight Canadian, mm. or a dollar forty-five U.S. Mm -hmm. For this drink, Psst. a Thai iced tea, a huge thing of Thai iced tea. Baht? That's cheap. And you see, the Cafe Amazon one is like. It's different, yeah. 
It's different than the hotel one I had. It's creamy and it's sweet. Well, Aaron's having like a snack. <laughs> I like to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to know what his snack is? <laughs> He's got barbecue duck and rice. <laughs> That's my snack. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you barbecue duck rice and spring rolls and these are the included with the hotel mm -hmm. food. yes hotel this meals. is the order we put in for yes spring rolls mm. Mm. man I'm not hungry and but like I'm still full from lunch but just because he's eating and I'm just like, mm, should I eat too? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even hungry, but I really like my food warm. Mm. That's my thing. But I mean, you can eat at any time. You know what I mean? Like, I probably won't come back to it if it gets cold kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Would you like some duck? No, thank you. I'm good. I still have some noodles left in my stomach mm. <laughs> from earlier. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, like, curry sauce. It smells really good. Yeah, so it's like duck in a curry sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's pretty tasty, actually. I almost want to go get chips or something. There's chips right here. I know. You know what? I might just do that. <laughs> so this is also complimentary with the hotel chips, peanuts, some peanut stuff. Original Lay's. There you go. That one's yours. What? Oh. There. And there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Spilt on himself. Lay's is probably one of my favorite chips. Original too. I always go for original. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aaron's cleaning off his shirt because he spilt some curry on it. I have to go change my shirt. Aww. I have to go soak this one so it doesn't like steam. Okay. about like laundry services and stuff and cleaning your rooms tomorrow we actually got a text message from housekeeping the hotel's housekeeping oh we have a room scheduled to be clean tomorrow would you like your room to be clean and this is basically halfway point of our stay so on our fifth day and then we were like well our room's not dirty like so we're like, oh, we don't really need our rooms to be clean. Like, I, I kind of wipe the floors every now and then in the morning after I work, I work out. And like, I think I guess the only, like, really the only thing we really need for tomorrow from housekeeping is like new towels. I mean, even even, even then they give you four towels. Yeah, there's lots. Right. So we decline housekeeping. So you do get housekeeping. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. And as for garbage and stuff, you were you were asking, you just leave it out in the hallway, but the door where where they leave the uh, food, and they just come and get it. They go around and collect. Because I guess when they bring you dinner and they see like a bag of garbage, they kind of take that down with them. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a pretty pretty good little system they have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's very easy. Very. Right? There's nothing you're like, oh my god, this is so complicated. No. Like, I can't figure it out. It's like, they bring you to your room. You basically just sit here and they bring you everything. As long as you have a cell phone, mm -hmm. you, don't even need a, you don't even need a SIM card because everything's no. Wi Fi. So. Wi Fi and Wi Fi is really, really strong here. Yeah, I'm, really strong. I was very surprised. Yeah. I am. If you're wondering, oh, I don't speak Thai. They literally. Super fluent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, Barely even an accent fluent. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're like, oh, hello, sir. <laughs> Did you order something from Grab? It's like, what the? <laughs> Funny. But I'm sure they appreciate it when you answer the phone. And, For sure. Yeah. Oh, 10 <laughs> bites. 
Was there what, four chips in there? Maybe like ten chips. Hmm, that's not bad. It's a good snack size. Pretty good for complimentary. Mm -hmm. Well, there is like three more bags in there. I so. know. And the different kinds, too. You know, I'm surprised these nail polish are lasting a long time. Maybe it's because I'm not really doing anything, you know? I'm not really washing dishes or being rough with my nail polish. Are you good there? What's that? Is that grape. a grape? Mm -hmm. Weird. <laughs> He's all like digging into his like duck and searching for something. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Who puts grapes in there? Grapes? Yeah, to make it sweet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a new thing and you might like it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm going to eat it right now. The grape. Is that a little egg? <laughs> no. I'm also trying to make sure there's no bones before I stick it in my mouth. Mm. Man, this is so good. I needed a, a pick-me-upper anyway. Girl. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> ah, the inside jokes. Mm. But they don't know that though. Exactly. That's why it's an inside joke. Oh. Okay. If I tell them, then I guess it's not an inside joke anymore. That's true. No, it's not. <laughs> They're going to be like, tell us. <laughs> Stay tuned in a future episode. <laughs> Don't say that, then you might have to tell them. No, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That was pretty good. I like duck. Mm -hmm. Wow, I finished mine quick. Well, show them the amount of ice in there. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much all the ice, right? But some people you say like it like that, right? They like it watered down. Yeah. Yeah. Like your cousin likes it watered down. Oh, yeah, my cousin likes it down. Yeah. Kind of like, because um, there's two versions of this. You can get it on ice or blended. He likes the blended one. Mm. It's not as strong. I like it strong. <laughs> yeah. You what? <laughs> I like it strong. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you should try the one from the hotel, too, though. It's really good. Is it better than Cafe Amazon? I don't want to say better, but it's different. Different, like so, like it's almost is it, stronger is it, tasting. Is it, is it more tea-y or like more? It's a little. It's like stronger. It's like thicker or something. Thicker. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to diss out Cafe Amazon, but I quite like the hotel one. It was pretty good. But like I said, every single They're all Thai different. iced tea is different. Yeah. It's so good that I think I'd come back here to get one, or if I see another one of those stores. If it's like a, if it's a little chain that they have in the hotel or something. Oh. Bake Brothers. Hmm. It might be a chain, kind of like SMP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a harsh little snack. <laughs> now are you now are you gonna even be hungry for dinner? Oh yeah. What what what, what kind of question? Yeah. Don't you know who you're talking to? It's dinner time. <laughs> And dessert time. <laughs> so this is what Aaron is having for dinner, you guys. <laughs> well. Well, because you kind of, you had that duck, so you're not hungry. I know. It's like a dessert. Yeah. Ooh, the best part. <laughs> Mango and sticky rice. This is what you've been waiting for? <laughs> for like a year. Yeah. So my rice soup. Um, I just got eggs. My stomach is not liking me today. From, I think it's from the noodles. Maybe, too spicy? Maybe it being too spicy and, you know, I'm just not used to all the spices and mm -hmm. the ingredients or like the food bacteria here, <laughs> you know? Totally. And you know, this is, this is, this is what I also want to say too. You know how some of you were like, oh, don't eat street food because it's so dirty and blah, blah, blah. It's not because it's dirty. It's because you coming from a different country, your body is not used to food bacteria yeah. here, you know, not necessarily. Good and bad bacteria. Yeah, good and bad bacteria. Yeah. So, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of, Every time I come back to Thailand, I always, always have to try and stop myself not to indulge in all these 
food that I'm craving for because I have to let my body adjust slowly mm -hmm. and then like you know a week in or two weeks in then I'm like yeah give me all the food <laughs> so and you know by me saying that clearly I didn't follow the rule this time because I had kapun papaya salad the other day and it's like it's just so hard to resist you know so this is my dinner and I'm I'm good with it I'll make you feel better mm -hmm. I could have this for dinner mm. yeah this is like the best dessert ever <laughs> mango and sticky rice mm -hmm. like ma'am mm -hmm. like does it get better than that mm. No. Oh, it's like you turn around. What happened to the mango and chicken rice? Yeah. There it is. What's left? <laughs> mm. So good. So good. I could eat seven of those. It's still hot. I can't really. There's an egg bite and some rice bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to mention, because I was going through the comment section, and some of you guys were saying, Oh well, what what's what what's what's the point for you to go back to Thailand if you can't see your family and blah blah blah? You know what's the point of going there? It's kind of like okay, it's kind of like this. I'm this is like me coming home, yes. And eventually, I'm going to go get to go see my mom and my grandpa and my family. And yes, I'm here to see them. It's kind of like me living in Canada. I go and visit my sister every now and then whenever I can, mm -hmm. you know. I don't live with my sister, so I don't see her all the time. Same as when I come to Thailand, we have our own place, we have our own thing that we do and, you know, when I can, I will go see my mom. And, yeah. Yeah, it's not that you can't, yeah. you just, at this moment, at this you can't rush right there. That's exactly. all it is, yeah. I have to wait for the right moment. Yeah. To be on the safe side, you for know? sure. Yeah, and, yeah. It's like, and now you're already here, and now we'll be done with quarantine, and you can yeah. instead of being in Canada, being like, oh, we're months away from <laughs> being able to. Yeah, know? and it's not like you know, it just makes me feel a lot closer to her when I'm here, like when I'm physically here, you know. So I guess that's the best way for me to explain it. And out of quarantine. And out of quarantine. Once yeah. we're done here, at Once. least at least uh -huh. options are open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And honestly, quarantine is nothing to us. No. It's so easy. It's relaxing. And on top of that, it gives us a chance to adjust. You know, it's like, say for example, we didn't have to quarantine. This is what we'd probably be doing anyways. Mm -hmm. Staying inside, trying to adjust our time difference and let our body adjust to everything here it know? always takes at least a week exactly at least. you always lose a week anyway going mm -hmm. anywhere at least for, for us. us when so. you're like when you have time to lose like mm -hmm. like that's mm -hmm. the thing it's like we're not in a rush mm -hmm. because we have time here mm -hmm. so we have a lot of time here you guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's different when you go somewhere and you're only somewhere for for a week yeah but Exactly. It's it's obviously different if you just have that one week vacation and you're going somewhere. Obviously, yeah. you're going to make the best out of your time when you're there. Even if you don't sleep for the whole 24 hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But with us, it's kind of like getting adjusted to living. Living. Yeah. Living. It's not like rush out and get and that's, stuff done. That's, and that's one reason why I say it's not a vacation. No. Because we're gonna be living here for a while. Yeah. Did I already say that to you? Guys? I don't. I. I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. Eh, I. I don't. I don't remember. My mind is still a little fuzzy. So. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying we're not going back to Canada. We are, eventually. Just not 
for a while. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I don't like to tell you guys how long we're going to be here because we don't know how long we're going to be here for. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months. A long while. <laughs> yeah. Six De months, I don't know. Definitely more than a good few. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why I say it's not a vacation. No. And we have plenty of time to get adjusted and making ourselves available to go and see the people we came here to see, you know? Hmm. Now all I have is rice left. Oh. Because the soup is, is helping my stomach calm down. Let me put some water in there for you? No. <laughs> I'll soup it up for you. <laughs> I want to show you. Oh, so sad. <laughs> it's getting dark out though. Almost, oh, yeah. almost time for bed. Definitely. Yay. Yay. <coughs> <coughs> From the lighting, it doesn't look like it's getting dark. It gets light early here and dark late. <coughs> yeah. That's why they say it's like, kind of like this city never sleeps. Yeah. Yeah, especially one this big. Pre-pre-pre-pandemic, yes, this city never sleeps. But now I think half of the city sleeps. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. I think half of the city is empty. Uh-huh. Yeah. And half of the city people aren't here. I don't know where they. I don't know where all the people go. Yeah. You know, it's like when they're out, they're like out. Yeah. When I also, you know, what I also wonder. I wonder if the markets are open. Probably kind of like half. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Probably here and there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like full capacity because you look out there. Yeah. Like we can see like there's apartment buildings around us and stuff. Uh -huh. And since we've been here, there's a number of them that are like. Uh huh. A third full, probably. Like the blinds haven't moved; they've yeah. stayed stayed closed the whole time we've been here. But and maybe, yeah, because nobody's living in there. Exactly. So they're either either people are away or they're just empty, empty. Mm -hmm. Right. But mm -hmm. you know. Or they belong to foreigners. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's like there's kinda, a lot that's empty. Kind of right. like our our condo. Mm -hmm. It's been it's empty for a year. A year. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, there's a lot of people that aren't here. Yeah. So sure. I'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the duty freeze in the airport and stuff. They're like, well, why open? Because no one's flying. Same yeah. with the market. Well, why open? Yeah. Nobody's coming. Yeah. There was like one big duty free shop that was open for us to just kill time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not much. Mm -hmm. But um, Thailand just actually came out I mean, not, not too long ago. I guess when we first got here that it's mandatory to wear a mask everywhere you go. Outside. Outside. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're if if say we're together. Oh, the only the only time you're allowed to take your mask off is when you're in the car by yourself. Even when you're in the car, if it's more than one person, you have to wear a mask wow. at all times. At all times, if they catch you, they're gonna fine you. Well, you guys. <laughs> That's it for our day today. I'm glad you guys enjoy these casual mukbangs <laughs> or in room chit chat. <laughs> whatever they may be called. What, whatever, yeah, whatever you may label this type of video. We are almost out of here. And like, we're halfway through. Halfway through, yeah, halfway through. So it's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not too shabby. But I guess we'll probably just go hang out, watch some movies. No and more eating for tonight. No more eating, yeah. That's no it. No, no more eating. No. Um, until the next repeated quarantine days. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to watch <laughs> yeah. some TV. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>